So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a hole in an object by using subdivision and then mm, loop to sphere or transform to sphere, whatever you call it. So let's delete this cube. Let's go to add mesh and plane. Here, uh, what I'm going to do is go to edit mode and then add subdivision. Right click and then subdivide. Again, right click and subdivide. Now that we have like this kind of um, geometry, uh, the center here is uh, the, you know, what do you call it? The 3D cursor is blocking this thing. So I'm going to go to object mode and I'm going to grab this and Y for Y axis. I'm going to move it a little bit. Okay, so now we don't have that 3D cursor at the center of this square. So now what uh, we can do is, uh, by default, the select mode is vertex selection. So, you know, we can use vertex, vertex, vertex selection. Sorry about that. Click on the center, the, the central vertex. Okay. And then press delete key and then choose vertices. So now we have, we already have this hole here. Okay. So this has deleted the vertex. So since there's no vertex at the center of the square, it creates this kind of hole. Now to make it um, round, what we got to do is uh, we can hold the hold. Uh, we can hold the Alt key and click on one of the vertices around this hole. Um, sorry, it's not working. Um, should be working. I'm not sure what happened here. Um, yeah, hold the shift key and the, the center here. Sorry, maybe I should have pressed click on the edge here. Okay, yeah, not on the verges. We select the vertex selection more, but still select. Click on the like, edge part here, so it selects the loop. No, that's uh, the loop that uh, joins all these vertices. Vertices, and then again, and then we'll go to vertex. Sorry, it's mesh, not vertex. Mesh, transform, and select two sphere. If you want the hot key, you can choose. You can click, uh, press. Shift Alt S. Okay. Once you do that, if you m move your mouse, you know, it does like this. Once you get this shape, just click on your mouse. Okay. So once you do that, you can see this this part. You can see something called two sphere. You click here, see the factor one. If you track this and you know decrease the factor. It you know changes like this, so you want to keep this one. That's all, and then now we can go to object mode. What we can do is we're going to go to material properties and add modifier, and uh, we're going to go to solidify and increase the thickness here, down or up, doesn't matter. Increase thickness, and again we're going to go to add modifier. Choose subdivision surface, so this creates kind of smooth effect. I'm going to move, uh, change it to two. Okay, so right click on here and shade smooth. You already have this round uh, hole, but we can uh, make it better by uh, going to edit mode and here we can um, what we can do is pre press ctrl R to create a loop cut oh sorry before that what we're going to do is go back to object mode uh, open this uh, solidify 
um, modifier and we're gonna apply it click here and apply the solid solidify modifier only after that we can go to edit mode now it is a 3d object okay before it was just plain until you apply the modifier it's just a plain uh, square so now press ctrl r once you get this click drag it up again ctrl r click drag it down okay now if you go back to object mode you see this way better so that's how you make a hole in an object um, with the help of subdivision um, solidifying and then and then finally uh, sphere to sphere transform to sphere so if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe to this channel